It's that time of the week when I play Modern Dawn? Modern Dawn? No, it's not Modern Dawn. It's Modern Day on Hearts of Iron 4. On the last one where I recreated the Soviet Union, I said get 3,000 likes and I'll do another one. So here I am do doing exactly what I said just two weeks later because, you know, I wanted to keep you waiting. So today, although this isn't a modern day directed challenge, it kind of is because it, I can still do it because Iran still exists. In, in this so what we're going to be doing is making the Persian Empire great again by playing as Iran and boy oh boy the pronunciations are going to be bad so if you want more modern dawn make sure to just leave a like on the video 3000 and I guess I'll do another one that seems like a nice little target rooney I swear like I seem to be going more and more insane every single video I, I, I produce so what we have here is Ali who see any cow many right we're Islamist, and we don't get a, a, an election. Okay, I'll stick Iron Man on because again, I don't know how you think I'll cheat, but I, I, I don't, I don't know how. So, just gonna dismantle factions. Let's go, and let's also do something else here, shall we? Put four more war in. Very good. How is Donald Trump becomes a world leader? A fun setting. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Oh. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, we've actually got a nice amount of divisions here. And do we have our own focus? No, we don't. We don't have our own focus tree, but that's OK. So let's just go down our ideology focus to begin with. Now, it's been a couple of days since I released a video, mainly because I took Monday off. Have to say, going to a cinema and you being one of the only people in there, it's pretty nice, actually. I'm going to do that again. It appears I don't get along well with people. We actually start with five. Oh, OK, well, no, that's less impressive. It appears my modern equipment doesn't actually exist so I'm going to be making invisible equipment which is pretty normal I'm sure you'd agree now unfortunately I can't just create nukes at the moment I do need a nuclear reactor which it's a bit of a shame I would have liked one so I guess I just pretty much need to just take over all of this which I mean that should be fine right I've got a map in front of me so you know I might be able to just about do this we don't have any diplomatic relations with anyone which is a problem I guess that's what we want really isn't it <laughs> That's good. There are no more factions in the world. And if they're becometh, I will get angry, I guess. Oh dear. Well, I do believe that the Persian Empire was actually quite tolerant. So we will um, we'll, we'll restore order here. We'll restore order. <laughs> Piers, all of my generals are of level one skill, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks, guys. I will have to take out Saddam at some point. Oh my god, he has a lot of division. Oh, wow. Uh, Whoa, nearly left. Mr. Saddam, you want to... You want to calm down there, right? I think I'll trade with Canada to get some tungsten. Go, Canada. Going to be leaving there in a couple of weeks. Well, it's less now. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. No, it's like nine days. Oh. Guess who's got enough power to justify on Afghanistan? No, it's not the US. It's Iran. Oh, do I really care about workers? No. No, I don't. Go back. I finally have coffee back in the house after several days. Oh god, this feels good. So one good thing about Iran is that we've got a hell of a lot of manpower and we're only on limited conscription. So that's very, very, very tasty indeed. I don't think Afghanistan will stand a chance against me. Let's hope not. I don't know, does, does my mental state seem to be regressing or, I don't know, just destabilising every, every other Hearts of Iron 4 video? I feel I went a little bit loopy in the last... What did I make? What video did I make last time? Oh, that's right. Making Somalia great again. Doing better than what they're doing in the modern day, though, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Look at all this world tension. Uh, that's a lot of justifications going on here. So I don't know if any of you enjoyed this or not, but I guess it's time for another scroll. The world looks fine at the moment. You know, if you want to keep seeing those, of course, let me know. Oh, on Netflix, I started watching that guy that travels with his dad from like Thailand to Cambodia to Vietnam. Usually, usually that guy really annoys me, but the show's okay. There are definitely some very, very staged bits, but Jack Whitehall travels with his dad or something. I don't know. It's okay. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Sure, let's have a major monarchist rally. So many more advisors that I'm used to. Ah, there we go. War industrialist. Got a pretty good navy. Whole nine ship. And our admirals are still only level. Oh, but this guy gets a uh, bonus for retreating. All right. <laughs> and he looks very happy about that, don't you, Ali? Fad Al, Fad Al. Well, still to the year 2000, and I've already got another war. A new war. The first war. Oh, well, of course they're going to waste their manpower on Oh, no. Don't be spoiling my fun here. Oh, all righty. Well, let's just... We should probably just push in and put Afghanistan out of their misery, huh? Yeah, I mean, they're, ta they're, yeah, they're taking a lot more casualties than me. Oh, boy. Uh, looks like we have... Um... I went monarchist. I mean, we restored... Well, you know, Persia was the had the king of kings and all that. So, Reza... Palavi is now our king of kings. I mean, no one will really mind if I just take Turkmenistan, will they? How, 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 how don't you want war, Saddam? So Britain's getting in Mr. Corbin. Oh, Vietnam's got all Cambodia. I've gone to war again. They don't appear to be attacking me this time. Their army's actually doing surprisingly well, despite the size. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop with the pop-ups! Okay, I'm just going to dismantle faction creation what all, all together because it's just going to make it a right old pain. But we've got another country to gobble, so let's uh, take it all. Is it time for another pan? I guess so. The world is slowly changing, but not really. You can't really tell from up here. But war's happening everywhere. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There is quite a lot of war going on. Although, as, many, as soon as one stops, another one starts. I already thought I was justifying. Turns out I wasn't. Silvio just conquered the Vatican City, so... The Vatican City no longer exists, so I don't know what he's done with the Pope. What have you done with the Pope? This will probably be the biggest war I've fought so far. As Pakistan actually look prepared for this, they've got 31 divisions. Okay, well, again, tons more war has just... Oh, oh... Okay. Oh dear. Uh, looks like Mr. Kim has gone to war with <laughs> South, uh, South, South, South Korea and uh, North America. Oh dear. Well, let's go ahead and declare war on Pakistan. And are they going to attack me? Yes, they are. So that... Oh god, I'm losing. This is very bad. This might require more micromanaging than I expected. You know what? Let's just block you two divisions off, shall we? <laughs> let's, you're not going to escape. So, through masterful strategy, I've taken their capital, and now a lot of their divisions are encircled, which is fan dabby dozy for me. Not so much for them. <laughs> well, that's a lot of divisions now overrun and destroyed. That feels very nice indeed. That pushes up their casualties quite a lot. So, it appears despite me disabling factions, they still exist, and whenever I disable them, they just recreate themselves. But on another plus note, I've isolated more divisions down here. They're up to quite a few casualties now. Well, it appears I've finally crippled Pakistan enough just to stroll on into most of their territory, which is very nice indeed. And they're very close towards capitulation now. <sighs> that feels good. What the heck's going on here? So we have the European Federation, which consists of Bulgaria. Oh. We are expanding quite a lot, which is pretty, pretty sweet. So now I think it's time to justify on good old India. So this could be a bit of a risk, as India is, a, is, is, is slightly more powerful than me, but they are also at war with China. Uh, let's, do, let's do a little cheeky push, see if we can get through. Oh, wow, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's tasty. The Bahamas and Ireland are in the African Association fact. So, did you know that despite me dismantling or stopping faction creation, uh, it turns out everyone is joining in the war against me. Would you look at that? Oh, boy. So, not only am I at war with India, I'm also at war with all of these people. Brilliant. Looks like I'm probably screwed now, then. Oh, you have to be having a giraffe. India just joined the Turkish Union. Oh, you're not serious. Are you serious? I'm an hour war of the United States despite disabling faction creation. Oh, fuck. Basically, despite me trying to stop this, turn into bloody World War Three. Oh, Malaysia wants me to join the Asian Federation. Sure. It's like I'm a little bit surrounded, doesn't it? So I have formed what some may call a fallback line. And that's exactly what it is. I am about to lose Tehran. I, I, I actually don't know what is happening in this war anymore. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that's that's not good. 
I'm also being naval invaded. I've been naval invaded by the US. Well, I tried. I, I, I tried to recreate the Persian Empire. Can't, can't really say it went very well, did it? What the heck? Indonesia's at war with Australia. Oh dear. Well, this is just going to be an absolute mess. I, there's no way I can win this. I, I'm surrounded on all sides because getting pushed back. China's going to... China's probably going to get capitulated too. I'm very close to capitulation. Brilliant. As I look around the world now, it's totally messed up. Don't use this modern day mod. It's annoying. Mainly the one... Oh, for f Well, I believe this would be a good time to say farewell. I have no words to describe my dismay at what has just happened here. A disabled faction creation. A disabled faction creation! Many thanks to Wyatt, John, Mike, Adam, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and Isari Productions for being ridiculous Rounder supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!